Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. And we last left off doing some stuff in the Team Rocket base, suffering from terrible situations and battles, and now we're about to face Giovanni. Most of his Pokemon are ground and poison, he uses a lot of ground, obviously. But, um, because of the ground types, I'm definitely going to use Cream Pie, because it's a flying type and it has a psychic type move. So we'll start with Cream Pie and we will challenge Giovanni. Here's Giovanni! For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. And Boss Giovanni would like to battle. This is the battle we've been waiting for so patiently. And he's got an Onyx. I'm screwed if I leave Cream Pie in. So let's go to. Turbo Lax, our laxatives, our pink laxatives. Ooh, he used Rage. I'm so scared, man. Scariest, most terrifying move ever, dude. Alright, water pulse him. Kill him. Get him with your pulsating water. That's right, we killed Onyx in one hit because Turbo Lax is just that awesome. Ooh, a Kangaskhan. Uh, I'm gonna need a fighting type for this, because it's the only thing that's super effective. So we will use Primeape, and probably get it another... Oh yeah, right. I was scared that some weird thing happened, because it, uh... It had, like, no EXP in the EXP bar, and then I remembered that I used a rare candy on it. But anyway... Let's karate chop... Like a boss... Break, break our bricks after it punches us to the face. Break its bricks. Punch the baby like a boss. Kill it like a boss. Because we're just that awesome. Like a boss. Oh, and Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn. I definitely can't use Cream Pie for that either. So... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into Turbo Lax and use him. Her. Him. Him. Yeah. I got Turbolax confused with Cream Pie. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, one's a butterfly and the other one's a... Whatever the heck it is. Whatever. I don't know. My mind's playing tricks. So it's Fury attacking us. It's unleashing its Fury, which really isn't that powerful. That's kind of sad, Rhyhorn. You're supposed to be an almighty rock-type Pokemon, but you haven't done crap. Oh well. It's super effective and we kill a ride a Rhyhorn. I defeated Boss Giovanni, cause I'm awesome. I'm just that awesome. I see that you raise Pokemon without most care. A child like you would never understand what hope I hope to the what I hope to achieve. Right. Yes, that's what I said. So uh I will step aside and leave you to your business. I hope we meet again. And I got the Sylph Scope. This item, this magical item, allows you to see the ghosts, like, or invisible Pokemon in certain areas of the game. And that is definitely very useful, but only in one certain portion, which will be coming up, will be coming up next. Crap. I just got into a battle. Uh, well. So, the, no the next Rocket Grunt wants to battle me. Yeah! You know, I noticed I didn't use Cream Pie once in that last battle. But, okay. Doesn't matter. Cream Pie's getting her experience right here. Slurge. Okay, it didn't poison me. Does Sludge poison? Yeah, Sludge Poisons, Acid doesn't. Acid lowers defense, I think. I don't know, I can't remember. Alright, coughing, 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 wheezing. Cough, cough, wheeze, wheeze, choke, choke. And I killed it. One blow, and there was a gap in my commentary, but oh uh, well. See, the occasional gaps I put in here is actually for editing purposes. 
because for some reason my commentary is always off by like a second, so I have to use the little gaps that I make. Um, that's nothing wrong with anything, but I just want to let you guys know whenever there's big gaps, some, a lot of times I I cut out some of those gaps to make uh, the the audio sync better. So let's go up here into the PC and go heal up. Well, PCs, but not sorry, but oh well. Come on, heal, heal them. Love you, Nurse Joy. I love you. I love you. I love you. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to realize that we actually need Meowth back on our team. And I will be replacing Primeape for this because Primeape cannot really fight grass types and is already ahead of all my other Pokemon. So yeah, let's just move me out to the party, switch with Primeape, and we'll go ahead to the gym. Uh, this gym, if you haven't played this game before, or gold or silver or heart gold or whatever, it's a grass type gym, and you could probably get a hint to that because there's trees and bushes all over this place. So we'll just run over, slowly run over, and then go into the gym. Alright, this gym is full of all women, which is pretty strange, but whatever. Uh, we'll lead with... Now let's not lead with cream pie, let's lead with, uh, let's lead with sparks, there we go. Do, do, do. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Wow, I really shouldn't mimic a girl's voice. That was bad. That was really, really bad. So she has a bell sprout. I don't think I've seen one of these before. Uh, bell sprout, not the worst, but not the best. It's pretty good. If you don't have a grass type by now, it's definitely good to have. You can get it before this, I think. Yeah, I'm almost 100% sure you can get it before this. And here's a Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell is the evolved form of that. It's uh, pretty good, I guess. A lot better than Bell Sprout, considering it's evolved. But to evolve Weeping Bell to Victory Bell, you have to use a Leaf Stone, I think. Which you can buy right in the city if you don't have one. So that's pretty awesome. But I don't have a Bell Sprout or Weeping Bell, so it doesn't really matter. And I was wrapped and I'm asleep. Okay. Come on, wake up, Sparks. Come on. I need your help. I need you to burn them. Burn the plants. Burn the trees. Yeah, that's right. Destroy them. Burn them to the ground. Oh man, that was kind of bad. Oh well. Whatever, whatevs, whatevs, you know, whatevs. Alright, so this chick right here is mandatory, I think, if you're going up this way. That chick is mandatory if you're going up that way. And the other chick is mandatory if you're going up that way. So, I'm going to go head out. You know what, I'm not going to go head out. I was going to go head out and heal up and stuff, but I don't need to. I'm just going to use that on my sparks, my sparky stuff. Sparky flame lizard thing. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, welcome. I was getting bored. Are, are you? Are, are you? Are you a drag queen? Is that a? Is that a dude? What? What? That's a dude? Oh my gosh! Oh man! I'm scarred for life. <laughs> Well then, let's scratch uh, Oddish to death. So Sparks didn't gain a level, no! Level up, Sparks, come on! Man, I sound desperate when I say that. Whatever. Took out the Bell Sprout. Leveled up. Yeah. 
that's right. Sparks is amazing. He's just that awesome. So, what are we gonna need? Let's use Turbo Lux, because he won't be seeing too much in here, because he's part water type. Might as well just use him on a weaker Pokemon so he doesn't die. So let's confuse it. Hopefully kill it with its confusion. Okay. I guess we won't kill it with its confusion. But it's stupid enough to use Sweet Scent. That is pretty stupid. I never really found the point of using Sweet Scent. Like, I've seen people... I've seen the people in the games use it, but... I know what its purpose is. It's just stupid. You'd be better off using, like... Foresight, or, uh... What's it called? Lock on, or something like that. Or Odor Sleuth. Whatever those moves are. Like, they are much better than Sweet Scent. Although. Right, Sweet Scent can be used outside of battle to draw Pokemon towards you. Not like you really want to do that. But. Whatever, I guess. I mean, if. That's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. So who are we gonna, who are we gonna lead with? Let's let's lead with Firo. There we go. Cause Firo is amazing. And so okay, ladies are here. You know, I wonder what that guy outside is doing. When we beat this gym, we'll find out. So let's uh, secret power this. Use our secret power of the goddess. Destroy Bellsprout in one hit, Fear gains some experience, and it's gonna send out an Oddish. Bet you all these Pokemon are low level like that, and I can take them all out. Cup lower. Down. Oh, not down for the count. And of course, I'm paralyzed. So they always have to do some stat inflicting thing that really gets very irritating. Ah, <sighs> man. Haha, -ha, you're paralyzed too. What now? Huh. Ha ha. Aw, oh, shouldn't have bragged. <laughs> Same thing happened to it. Ah, we're just uh, we're just that awesome. We can take paralysis like a boss. So weepin' bell. Weepin' bell, weepin' bell, weepin' bell. We're not gonna switch out. Because we need to kill it. We need to gain experience. To become more powerful and take on better Pokemon, oh, Pokemans, yeah. Oh man, whoops! Sorry, I touched my mic and it made a clacking noise. So let's secret power it, and we paralyze it too. Nice, not bad. Darn it, Firo, come on! <laughs> wow, it used Vine Whip. How stupid could you get using a? Using a grass type move on a flying type. Sometimes I wonder about the AI in this game. It's like, how stupid could you possibly be? Like, wow, really? Yeah, the AI is pretty stupid. Come on, kill him. Come on, get out of your trance of paralysis and stuff. No. I need to switch out. I really need to switch out. Send out Cream Pie. Hopefully Cream Pie can get rid of all these. I think I'm gonna use Aerial Ace, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Aerial Ace and take them both out. Aerial Ace. No. Okay, used Absorb. 0.25% damage, I think? Because I'm four times resistant to it, so yeah, it's 0.25 percent damage. 0.25 times damage. Not point, not 1.25. Point 0.25, less than one. So now she has an Ivysaur. So we should be able to take out Ivysaur pretty quick. I don't know. Because, you know, I have never used Bulbasaur in any of my playthroughs of Fire Red or Leaf Green. Because I seriously find his line to be really, really awful. Like, I always end up failing at one point or another because he's just so weak. Oh, well, 
I'm gonna end this with a cliffhanger. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.